Renovations and restoration of the historic Brown Chapel AME Church in Selma continues. Project manager and director Wanda Maxwell says that a lot's been done since the project started in October of 2021. We have restored and repaired the cupolas, the frames, the dome. We also repaired the structure under, underneath it. We have restored and repaired the north balcony, the uh, roof over the edifice, main edifice, and we pointed all the brick. See, a lot of the bricks had hole where, holes where water and termite was coming through. She says because it's not possible to use new mortar with old brick and mortar, they had to actually find the recipe for the original mortar. Up next for the project? We're getting ready to work on the structural part of the walls and the structural part of the floor beams. And then after that, we'll work on the other two balconies. Then they'll have the electricals, then there's HVAC, the staircase has to be renovated, bathrooms and kitchens will be next. The project was kicked off with a $1.3 million grant from the National Park Service. More money was raised through other grants and donations. Maxwell says that so far they've spent a little over $2 million, but the total cost could be $3.5 million or more, so they continue to apply for more grants, and they're asking for donations. Maxwell also says that because of the nature of the funding, there's no completion date that's been established. They'll continue until it's finished. Complete information is at brownchapelamechurchfoundation.org. Or just put in Brown Chapel Church Selma in your search engine, and it'll pop up. Brown Chapel was the starting point for the 1965 voting rights marches. I'm Todd Prater for the Black Belt News Network. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and thank you for watching and listening.